Can you combine an Asr with a Jumu'ah prayer, insha'Allah, if you are a traveler? Bismillah, alhamdulillah. This issue has two main opinions of the people of knowledge. Two main views, not the only views, but main views of the people of knowledge of the past, the fuqaha, with regards to the permissibility or the impermissibility of it. The first opinion states that it is impermissible for a Muslim to combine between Salat al-Jumu'ah and Salat al-Asr. The second opinion states that it is permissible, the exact opposite, that you cannot do it. Some of the Shafi'i ulama hold the first opinion, whereas the second was adopted by many of the Hanbali jurists, and others, and others. What is important for us to understand the foundation of the issue, the asl. Why do they differ? Why does one group say it's permissible and another group say that it's impermissible? Those who say that it's haram, they say that we have no specific text from the Rasul Sallallahu that tells us about combining between Jumu'ah and Dhuhr prayers, allowing us to do it how and when. Whereas we have certain hadith that speak about the other five daily prayers. They talk about Dhuhr and Asr, they talk about Maghrib and Aisha, so on and so forth. And they say that Salat al Jumu'ah is its own separate prayer. It isn't Salat al Dhuhr, it is not compared to Salat al Dhuhr, rather, it is its own separate Salat. Therefore, there is no specific uh, qiyas to be made in acts of worship. Acts of worship are only established by text, by nusus, kitab and sunnah. So we have no nusus, we don't make any type of analogy, any comparison, take one ruling, one template of a ruling and place another in it. No, we don't do that. That's why they say it's impermissible. The second group of ulama, they say that rather, Salatul Jumu'ah, and Salatul Dhuhr, if they aren't the same prayer or a substitute, if Jumu'ah isn't a substitute for Dhuhr prayer, then at least we can say it's very similar. And there are many striking comparisons and consistencies between the two. That's the first proof that they use. Another proof that they use is they say, okay, we'll agree with you that a Dhuhr prayer is not Al Jumu'ah prayer. And Al Jumu'ah prayer is not a Dhuhr prayer. They aren't the same prayers. However, we say that even if there isn't an qiyas to be made in ibadat, we say that there is a hardship and a difficulty that is shared between the two. Okay? Then they say, they further, they say, yani, going even further, they say what? That the statement that there aren't, or there isn't any qiyas in acts of worship is incorrect. Rather, there are some acts of worship in which there is qiyas. Maybe not in the usul of those acts of worship, but later on there's chaos. Now, they say that, why does a person combine between Dhuhr and Asr, Maghrib and Isha? What is the reason behind that? Is it something that is 100% divinely spiritual? We don't know the reason behind it. Or is it something that's tangible? Is it something that we can realize the wisdom and the reasoning behind combining these prayers? They say that when you combine between Dhuhr and Asr, because it's raining, because it's extremely cold outside, because a person is sick, because a woman has irregular bleeding, istihada, and the list goes on during the times of jihad, traveling, etc. So they say if there's a hardship for the Muslims to come out back to the masjid for the second time for Salat al Asr, it's raining, or in America, it's snowing, it's in February, it's freezing cold, it's black ice out on the road, so on and so forth. It's a difficulty to establish the Jumu'ah the second time. They say, what's the difference between Jumu'ah and Dhuhr? There's no difference. Maghrib and Isha, it's a prayer. It's a congregational salah. So therefore, they say that it is permissible to combine these two because there isn't any proof saying that it's haram. And the asal, they say, is that it's permissible to combine between prayers that have similar time zones. Dhuhr and Asr both performed during the day. Maghrib and Isha, these prayers are both performed during the night. So it's a hardship in getting the people to come back out to the masjid? Why not? That's what they say. The difference of, of opinion, an issue of khilaf. Therefore, this issue also teaches us, brothers and sisters, 
the importance of the congregational salat among the ulama. And if the congregational prayer wasn't so paramount, so important, so crucial, they wouldn't have spoken about these rulings, when you can and cannot do it, and the permissibility of making a prayer earlier or later on in its improper time. Khairan, inshallah. So therefore, that is the issue of uh, combining Jumu'ah and Asr. There's two main views of the ulama. As for the concept of combining Salat al Jumu'ah with Salat al Asr, then what's meant is Jam'u al Taqdeem. What we call Jam'u al Taqdeem. When you make the prayers, you make one prayer in its earliest time and the later prayer during that same time. In other words, you make Asr during Dhuhr time and not Dhuhr during Asr time. Khairan, inshallah.